about to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to y'all from my master bathroom. I painted in here probably last summer. I done a little bit of decorating, but I'm gonna spin around here. I still have these cabinets, these oak cabinets, and I do not like them. So I have finally decided to paint them. So I'm gonna bring y'all along while I repaint or paint these cabinets and do a little bit of cleaning and updating. I'm hoping I will be able to, before the end of this video and it's posted, I'll be able to get all the decorating done. But I'm going to start out today, we're going to clean all these cabinets, doors and stuff, and then I'm going to take the doors off and I'm going to start priming. I'm going to be using the Kiehl's brand primer. It's the same thing I used in my kitchen. I did that. I primed all my cabinets before I painted them and it's been like two years and they're still holding up pretty good. So. We're gonna do the same thing in here. So I'm going to turn you around and let you kind of watch me get everything prepped and ready to paint. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. And y'all may notice all I'm doing is cleaning the cabinets and I'm not sanding them. You can sand them, but I have found that if you clean them well and use the kills, it works just as good as if you sand all the cabinets. Now I'm going to remove all of the hardware off of the cabinets. I'm just using my husband's drill. Um, I skipped ahead. I didn't show me cleaning all the cabinets. That could get pretty long. <laughs> okay, I've been having trouble. I'm gonna try a flat head. Ah, oh, it works! A flat head did it, yay! I'm done living life with the lights out, die with my own. Okay, y'all. So, if you have something that looks like this, you can use a flat bit in there. And, well, <laughs> there it goes. Oh Lord, y'all, I'm not the best at... There you go. <laughs> so now I'm gonna continue on doing the rest. And I'm gonna spray paint these. Probably, I'm thinking I'll do like a brushed nickel or something, I don't know. I'll see when I get there, I guess, to buy it. move on but I won't record more. I've decided to peel or attempt to peel this trim that they have all around um, this tile. So I'm going to I'm just going in and I have a knife here. I'm just trying to break the that stuff up or whatever the silicone or whatever and pry it off so that is what ah, okay one <laughs> i got one off so <laughs> let's see if i can get the rest we've been on and off again and again i don't know which way we're going no control you push me then you pull me back in i'm kind of curious should i go should i try 
I'm not sure. I want to take these off, but let me just continue working around. <laughs> give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this. Can't resist to be a little risky and go. For it, cause I want you close. I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering. You know, I do anything to be in your arms again. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. It's off. It's off. Yay. Baby, give me a sign. Now it's off. I do have to fix, I have a little spot down there. Let's zoom in. I'll have to kind of fix. Um, but yes, now I just gotta figure out what I wanna do about this tile. Okay, here's a closer look of what I have. And I accidentally broke this piece of tile, y'all. There were um, a couple of nails stuck in the corner and I started prying them. I think I'm going to leave the tile up just because it does protect the back or this part of the wall from water splashes. I'm just trying to decide if I want to paint that tile or I may buy some of that peel and stick tile to put over it. We will see as the video goes on what I decide. Um, I'm just going to kind of, I may have to put some of that plaster stuff, I don't know, before I touch up the paint around here. And I think I'm going to silicone around here too. So I think I will do that. So, give me a sign. so now I'm gonna go around with my painter's tape and tape off the floor and the walls so that I don't get the primer everywhere. Just give me one more talking to you and here we go again staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in. So give me a sign. Of my prep work done this is just to keep it from getting on the wall and the floor and things so and um, I'm probably gonna rearrange and get some new baskets and stuff to organize in these cabinets too but for now maybe by the end of the video I'll have all that in there so okay, all, this is what I'm gonna use to prep my cabinets I'm gonna prime them with this kills and I have this old, <laughs> I've used it so many times. I'm just gonna pour some in there and I'm gonna use a paintbrush to, um, to apply it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this ready. I wonder what's that like? 
Hey y'all, I have everything primed. I ended up doing two coats of primer. So anyways y'all, I'm going to let this dry for a little while. I'm gonna do a few other things. Actually, I'm probably fixing to pull out the joint compound stuff and see what I can do around here. And I'm also probably, I don't know if I'm gonna take the mirrors down yet, we'll see. Okay y'all, I'm gonna take these mirrors down because I can't really do all of this to the wall with the mirror there. Plus, we're planning to put a frame around it. So anyways, what I'm gonna do is I have a marker because this mirror is actually, I'm gonna zoom in. The only thing holding up my mirror are these little things here. There's one there and one there one on the top and one on the other side. So that is all that is holding my mirror in place. So I'm going to, sorry, um, I'm gonna trace around it so I know exactly where it was at because we're going to use liquid nail to nail it or to attach it to the wall and then we'll use the liquid nail to attach the frame I believe is what we'll do. So I'm going to go ahead and move this back a little and then I'm gonna get my step ladder. Forgot to mention, the main reason that we are taking the mirrors down and going to liquid nail them or like basically glue them up is because the little brackets that are being used to hold the mirror up is going to get in the way of the frame and we don't want to have to like knot the frame out to go over it so that is why we're doing that in case you're wondering feel almost like i don't know if it's real because when we're doing our thing we're the wheels that won't stop turning now I'm going to work on trying to do this joint compound stuff. Oh, wasted. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces. We don't care about them. And to be honest with y'all, I don't know if I'm doing this right. I have used this stuff um around the house and I guess I'm doing it right. Um it was actually already here when we moved in a brand new container and so I just use it for filling different big holes and things Did I do this perfect? Probably not, but once I paint it, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna let it dry really well and then I'll sand it down some and then I will paint it. But I will do that. It'll probably be one of the last things I do, so. Okay, y'all, I have made supper and everything else. I think I can start painting. I have this Glidden Premium. It's the satin finish, the interior paint and primer. So, um, and it's in the color, I'll show you exactly. Let me zoom in for y'all. It's just black, just plain oh everyday black. So, <clears throat> I'm about to open this up. I'm gonna go ahead, I just like using this little tray, y'all. I know this little tray has seen better days. Should have bought a new one, but it'll be all right. So, I'm going to make sure there's nothing loose in here that'll come off um, and I'm gonna pour that in there oh that came out a little bit faster than what y'all look at that oh lord okay I made a mess <laughs> I made a mess I have this um uh Four inch roller it says good for doors and cabinets and um, so I'm gonna use this and my paintbrush there oops, to um, to paint hey, all this this side has been painted um I had to end up adding my tape made it thicker so that when I got down to the bottom it wouldn't go over but that's sad I'll probably have to do some I may have to do another coat. We will see. So now, 
I am right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put another piece of tape down here too, just because I'm scared to get this black everywhere. So I'm gonna do that real quick to make this wider. Okay, y'all, my camera died and I decided instead of making y'all watch me paint all this, I would just finish it and come back. I finished two coats on here. And then I have two coats. I just finished my second coat on this. You can still see it's wet. And then I totally forgot. I haven't even primed the cabinet doors. So, I and y'all, look at me. I am the messiest painter ever. But anyways, I didn't paint. I had primed this, but then I decided, you know what, I'm not even going to paint it because the drawers are going to cover that. So, I got paint on the floor. Anyways, now I'm going to take and head into my living room. I'm going to lay down plastic and start paint or priming the others. Also, I wanted to show y'all something because I don't know if I'll get to painting the cabinet doors tonight. Because it's like almost 10 o'clock. We'll see. I'm going to prime them tonight. I just may not get to painting them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my roller in there and I'm going to wrap it up in a plastic bag. Go ahead and put a second bag on it just to be for sure that it doesn't dry out and that way when I'm ready to continue painting all I have to do is unwrap it there we go have it all wrapped up okay y'all it is 10 10 at night <laughs> and I do not have a garage and my husband's shop is full so I'm in my living room and I have plastic down everywhere and I'm going to start priming my cabinets. I have four of them set out and I have a few more over there. So I'm gonna start priming these cabinet doors um, so that I can paint those. And I can turn on the TV and watch TV. <laughs> okay, y'all, I do not recommend laying your um, doors flat on the plastic like this because the paint on the sides kind of stuck and so it was a little mess. Um, I would recommend setting them on top of something, a can or something. Up to see it, baby. We can have it all. Okay, y'all. I have got the first coat of primer on all of the cabinets, and they're all around me. I'm just in the middle. <laughs> of all of this but i'm gonna go ahead and paint a second coat of primer on and this is on the front side i think when i flip once they're drying on and i flip them over to do the inside i think i'm only going to do one coat of primer on the inside but instead of having y'all watch me do all that i will come back when i'm finished okay y'all i got the second coat on all of these i'm gonna let them dry for a little while i have my paint in there covered up I'm going to let these dry for a little bit, and then I'm going to flip them over and do a coat on the back hey, side. It is day two. I'm wearing the same clothes because I didn't want to mess up any other clothes because I'm a messy painter. And I look pretty, pretty rough, but that's okay. I stayed up. It was after two, and then I took a shower or a bath, actually. I soaked in the bathtub, and my back is still sore today. But now I'm going to... I flipped this one over already. I need to do the front side of all these cabinets with at least two coats. And then <clears throat> I have my drawers, which I haven't primed, but I'm going to put them back into the cabinet part and I'm going to prime those and then paint those. And then I'm also going to have to run to town because I want to spray paint all of my hardware. Um, probably a brush nickel or something like that. I'll find out when I get to Home Depot. And then I'm also going to look at some peel and stick tile stuff maybe to cover the ugly tile I have that I didn't want to pull down yet. Um, so that's the plan. So my, I hope, crossing my fingers, that I get all this done today. Started a little later because I was so tired I didn't get up like I wanted. <laughs> so anyways, I got my TV going. So I'm going to be watching some videos. Okay, y'all. I have put two coats on all of these cabinet doors. I'm going to head into my bathroom because i got to prime the drawers, and I'll take y'all with me. I didn't record 
the whole time I was doing this because it was the same thing over and over. Hey so. y'all, I look a mess, ignore me. I'm outside and I have my hinges. I'm gonna wipe these down and then I bought this Rust-Oleum um, metallic all, sur all surface paint and primer in satin nickel. That's what I bought to spray all of these hinges. So what I'm gonna do is well, I should have soaked these overnight and let them kind of clean, but I didn't. So I'm just going to wipe them down, and then I'm going to spray paint them. I'm out here on my front porch. I have a box that I'm going to set them on, and that's what I'm going to do. Paint them arm. Um, I'm about to start putting the cabinets on. I have my little hinges all painted up, and so that's what I'm going to do. I am going to have to do some touch-ups. And there is something sticky on one of my cabinets. I don't know what it is. I'm probably gonna have to clean that off and then touch it up. So I'm gonna, we have some rain going on too. So I'm gonna turn y'all around and let you watch. Okay, y'all, I realized this was a job I could not do alone. My husband wasn't home, Bryce wasn't home, so my little buddy Adrian came and helped me. He was such a good little helper, and me and him put on all of the cabinet doors. I got my camera roll on me. They're right on me. I'm putting these little felt pads on the corners up here of my cabinets. I'll help you out. You still only need one and just the I'll do it on these. And Adrian's gonna do the ones over there. I need to do a little bit of touch up. Um, do we do it on both corners or on the bottom? No, just the top. I've got the paint I'm using is grage from bigger. They're putting liquid nail, or actually this is Loctite brand, I believe. My husband is putting it on our mirror so that we can attach it to the wall. And then we're gonna put a frame on. We're not gonna put the frame around it today, but there's this one. We're just using our bed. <laughs> hey y'all, ignore the background. Real life, blankets piled up. Um, by the way, I got my hair highlighted. It's not as blonde as I normally get it, but I still like it. My, my glasses glare every time. But what I'm doing now is I'm about to stain the wood that's gonna go around my mirrors. And I bought this Rust-Oleum wood stain. It's called Barrel Brown. If I can get it to focus on it. There, Barrel Brown. So I've got some gloves I'm gonna put on because my daughter did my nails. Um, I've got these little foam brushes but I also have some old t-shirts to kind of wipe it off with and I've got the floor right here I've got plastic down and I'm going to use some boxes to kind of prop them up on and so um but anyways I just thought I'd let y'all watch me ignore my clothes but I'm not going to wear good clothes when I'm doing this so that's what we're about to do and while I'm doing it I'm fixing to turn on one of my favorites Jesse Christine has a new video and yes y'all I had totally forgot to um, 
sand the edges that my husband he cut these and so I'm just kind of doing a rough sand because I want this to look kind of rustic but you see those pieces that are sticking out and my poor sanding block is about had it I should have done this outside but oh well painting the bottom and the top y'all is rough I don't know it was here when we moved in and it's been in our bathroom because I always use it but I decided to make it look better so I bought this poly foam actually it's two pieces I probably will only need one but I'm going to cut it to fit the top of this and then I bought this fabric here um oh I hope it's gonna fit the lady thought it would. Let's see. Ooh, I think it will. Okay. Anyways, I bought this fabric here, and it's kind of a, it's a thicker fabric. I don't know what you call it, but anyways, and I'm going to cover that. So I'm just going to use my husband's heavy-duty staple gun, and we're going to do that. So, thought I'd let y'all watch me. So I'm going to open this up and get started. Bryce is going to help me. He is going to kind of use this Sharpie and draw a little bit of a line so I know where to cut it. You gotta cut it on the very inside of this line. Okay. You are only like a friend. Want me to cut it for you? Sure. And now Bryce is gonna be my helper and cut it. Shoot you go, thing. boy. I got all kind of cool little things I've been finding. You could be my helper. Now there's a wind of change. I never ever felt this way. You're stuck in some. Now Bryce is gonna start trying to. I'm um, just gonna put a couple staples in. Kind of like hold it. The, yeah, I'm gonna put one on each side. But make sure you pulled it where it's not gonna be too loose. Do you have it tight enough that it's mm -hmm. gonna? You have it pulled tight enough under And if there? it's not tight enough, I just tighten it up over that side. Oh, okay. Do we need to turn it around? Like lay this maybe down and do it that way? Or are you afraid it'll, or do you want to do that after you kind of get it in place? Well, you can turn it over because this staple doesn't look like it did good. Okay, right well, way. let's try to do it. Now we flipped it over because we need more pressure. Because that. Hold on. I think that now's the time. Longing for you, pick up the phone. Catching the flight, I'm coming home. Back to the place I've always known. We could have cut off a little piece of this and put it. Like, <laughs> no, like cut it down again. And oh, like I thought you meant. Yes, we could just keep it a square. I was gonna make like. It was gonna We're be. We're gonna have a square. It's gonna be like a little mouth. <laughs> I like it. <clears throat> good deal, good deal, Gina, good deal. You just probably can't. Rub back well, I wouldn't be doing that. I'd right I would just want it to. I know sit. that's what I'm saying, Adrian. Honestly. Okay, Adrian. Like now, no, like <coughs> sliding your butt back and forth. Okay, what we're doing now is we were kind of roughing it up and taking a paintbrush with some white paint and trying to put, you know, kind of some paint where it would naturally wear to kind of give it a worn look. And we also put a coat of polyurethane on this to keep it from. Um, you know, peeling and stuff, which is something I need to do to the cabinets. I have not sealed the cabinets yet. Well, I'm in my room over by my desk, and I wanted to show y'all these cute baskets I got. I got these at Dollar Tree, and this is what they look like. I'm going to zoom y'all out a little bit. I mean, so I have two that are more of a shallow 
not as deep of a container. And then I have four, no, yeah, four of these ones. Let me show you. And they're deeper containers. And then, get some stuff out of here. I got two of the, these come together, two of these um, to use. And then I got one. This one is the same depth, but it's more narrow. Or not narrow. Yeah, more narrow. It's not as wide, but it is the same depth. So I'm thinking of using these in my cabinets over here to organize some stuff. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, y'all. I have all of the medicine and stuff. I didn't show y'all me doing it because, I don't know, I just didn't want y'all to have to see all that. But anyways, I have all that done. Up here, this may change a little. For now, that's how it is. And here in the center, this is just, right now, I have a lot of towels that I'm, I wash I need to put away. So I have like our bath towels. And I put some smaller towels here. Washcloths are in there. And then hand towels. But down here, y'all, I have so much stuff. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I kind of organized this not too long ago. So, <clears throat> I don't know what we'll do. I will see. You know my husband is shy of the camera, but here he was lining up all of the pieces of wood and he was using these little brackets um, and screwing them together with some shorter screws. And then he ends up attaching it to the wall with one longer screw on each corner. We had bought liquid nail to attach those um, frames but we ended up not needing them at all and actually he thinks that they will hold up really well the way that he put them up he wouldn't let me record him <laughs> but he just screwed them to the wall okay y'all i'm in love with these mirrors have a few little places i have to touch up but now i'm gonna get everything back together and show y'all it's gonna look so good so here it is y'all the completed bathroom y'all this mirror these mirrors oh i'm in love we my husband cut this wood and i stained it and it was called barnyard i believe or something i will have the stain and the paints and things that i used listed down below and so i stained this with several coats these were actually silver and we spray painted them a flat black and ignore me <laughs> i've been cleaning but um my husband put those on each corner and actually we were gonna um liquid nail it but instead one of the screws i don't remember which one one of them is completely into the wall and then the other three are decorative so the now the light fixtures i do want to change they are a shiny polished looking silver and i want to get some new like farmhouse looking globes. I didn't get around to that. We just put a, this is actually a command, um, command strip brand for our towels, our little hand towel. This was already up here and I just keep things like rubber bands and bobby pins, just little hair things, my contacts I never wear. And these y'all were from Dollar Tree and I actually just spray painted those a flat black to match. I ordered these a while back off of Amazon. I'm going to try to remember and link them down below. I have one on each side. And then the jars I already had, I just went ahead and sprayed. I need to respray paint these, but I spray painted them flat black also. Y'all was interrupted. So anyways, here is an overview. Oh, also, these came from Hobby Lobby. Originally, let me show you what they look like. They were this color. And I did not like it, and I don't know if... Let me try to get this back up here straight, sorry. I did kind of a rough paint job to them to try to just change them up. And so I hung this one. This is Hello Handsome on this side. And then the Good Morning Gorgeous on this side. And I did the same thing to it. Just did kind of a rustic looking paint job. Now I'm gonna take you over here. This is where my bathtub is. And I have cleared it up. It had a lot of stuff all on it. And I do love to take baths. 
This I got from Hobby Lobby and I've had it in here since I repainted this bathroom last summer. But I hadn't done a whole lot of decorating. This was one of the things. And I'm still thinking about either putting some more black in it, painting it black. I just feel like it kind of blends in. I didn't do it this time. And the shelf up here, my husband, this is actually from Home Depot. These, they're actually real um, piping or whatever. And this board actually had been outside, so it's just naturally weathered. I recently bought this hot bath sign from Hobby Lobby. And then basically everything up there, let's see, the two lanterns were from Walmart. Um, everything else except for the relax sign, um, it came from, I think, Marshalls. But everything else was from Hobby Lobby except for those flowers. They were from Walmart. So. And then we will come around to the toilet area. Um, up here, these pictures both came from Hobby Lobby. They used to be by my sink, and I just really liked them. If y'all know me, I love cows, so I want to incorporate cows into my bathroom. And then I just love this. You are loved. It's a good reminder from Isaiah 41.10. And this shelf here, I bought from Hobby Lobby, and the picture was from Hobby Lobby that says, and so together they built a life they loved. This was given to me by a friend, but it, I believe it came from Hobby Lobby. The plant came from Bells. They're going out of business. And this little sign, y'all, faith it till you make it, my son bought me. Um, Bryce did on a band trip. I thought that was so sweet. And this here, the basket here, was from Hobby Lobby a while back. And I just added some twine to it to just so it wouldn't be so plain. This was from Hobby Lobby. And this was from Hobby Lobby, the spring, coll spring collection. I got it on sale. And I added those flowers that came from Walmart. And the best seat in the town, best seat in the house <laughs> from Hobby Lobby. Now I want to show you all this little thing here. It's a space saver. It was sent to me from a company on Amazon. They wanted me to review it. And when I first got it, I, or when I first was asked about it, I actually thought this was metal. But it's not. It's actually plastic. But it works perfect in the bathroom. It came with, I believe there was six of these little hooks, so you can hook little things on them. But I'm not using all of them. This little plant, I got it, Joann's all back. But anyways, it on the top, I have my my face soaps or whatever, cleansers, and this little thing here, I don't know, for your face, and my bubble bath. And I just thought I would set this plant here. And I do like that, like if I set something up here like this, it has water, it can drip down, which maybe isn't a good idea because I have toilet paper under it. But <laughs> the toilet paper I have actually up there is toilet paper we bought when the whole quarantine started you couldn't find toilet paper and it was cheap and it feels like sandpaper so we don't really use it and i think it kind of gave some issues to our septic tank so this is actually the toilet paper we use and i just have it in a little basket down here on the bottom of course we have like room spray and baby wipes and this little i'll link this down below um it does roll around and it's very lightweight but it works so perfect right here because at first i was like what in the world am i going to do with this i thought it was one of the tall like three three shelf metal rolling thingies, but it wasn't. But it works out perfect in this spot here. And then let me take you back over here. Of course, here is the cabinet I showed you with all of our stuff in it. And we just got this from Hobby Lobby and hung it there so we can put towels there. And our shower, I didn't do anything to. I thought about putting a shower hook or a shower curtain up. And this, you all have no space for shoes, so that is on the door. That actually goes into our laundry room. And I don't have anything on this wall, so. But I do, let me show you one more thing I forgot to bring back in. I mopped the floor. Okay, this stool here, y'all, I've had it in here, and y'all seen earlier in the video how it looked, but this is completed. Me and Bross. I mean, he helped do a lot of this. We tried to make it look kind of rustic. I think he did a very good job. And he actually did putting the fabric on here. And I like, it feels, it's kind of, it's a tough feeling fabric. I don't know how to describe it. And then we have the foam. And so this is what I usually keep it. I usually keep it right there. So, get it to focus. I usually keep it there so that whenever I, want to do my hair and makeup I can just pull it over to my side of the sink 
So I'm going to give y'all a once more like, overview. And I'm in, I am in love with these mirrors. I want to do the same thing to my kids' bathroom. And it did not cost much at all. I will find out for my husband if I can exactly how much. And I'll put across the screen how much he paid for the wood and the little bracket things. So here we go. Monster Sunday, your bed deep in the black. 